condition. Asthma is a chronic disease of the airways that is complex and characterized by variable and recurring symptoms, air flow obstruction, bronchial hyperactivity, and airways inflammation. Burden of asthma, epidemiology and economics, prevalence, worldwide distribution and estimated global prevalence of 300 million patients, morbidity and mortality rates. The World Health Organization, WHO, estimates 15 million disability adjusted life years loss annually due to asthma. Estimated worldwide deaths. 250,000 per year. U.S. case fatality rate is 5.2 deaths per 100,000 cases. Asthma, Epidemiology and Economics, Part C, Social and Economic Data. 1. Total cost, direct and indirect, of asthma-related illness was estimated at $6.2 billion in 1990. And 2. Emergency room use, hospitalization, and deaths comprise 43% of the economic impact. Three, pathogenesis. The factors involved in the development of asthma are complex, interactive, and highly dependent on the interplay between health factors, primarily genetics and environmental exposures. A. Health factors, genetics. B. Environmental. 1. Allergens. 2. Infections. Physiology. Asthma is caused by a complex interaction between cells, mediators, and cytokines that result in airway inflammation. This results in important physiologic changes in airway structure and function. Infiltrating inflammatory cells can result in bronchoconstriction. Five. Natural history. Asthma can develop at any age. A. Early onset asthma. In 30 to 50 percent of children cases, more common in males than females. Lung growth appears to be normal but can be decreased in more severe disease. B. Adult onset asthma. Severe disease and abnormal pulmonary function tests, PFTs. Irreversible airflow obstruction that may be related to structural changes in the airways. Diagnosis. Asthma is a clinical diagnosis that is made based on history, physical examination, and diagnostic testing including objective measurement of lung function. A. History 1. Cough or dyspnea can be isolated features. 2. Symptoms tend to be episodic, often with acute onset. 3. Cough in asthma. 4. Other symptoms, chest tightness, substernal pressure, chest pain, nocturnal aw awakenings. B. Physical findings, examination, acute asthma, A. Wheeze, B. Tachypnea and tachycardia universal, C. Prolonged expiratory phase, D. Hyperinflation of chest, E. Mild hypoxemia. 2. Severe asthma, A. Wheeze, B. Respiratory distress, including the inability to speak in full sentences. C. Accessory muscle use. D. Pulses paradoxus. E. Diaphoresis. F. Severe hypoxemia and mental status changes, possibly in extreme cases. C. Objective measures of lung function. 1. Spirometry. Measures force expiratory volume in one second, force vital capacity, and FEV1 
over FVC ratio. 2. Bronchoprovocation testing. Bronchoprovocation testing is useful for supporting the diagnosis of asthma in cases when spirometry is normal. Seven differential diagnosis: a acute viral trachobronchitis, b chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, c gastroesophageal reflux, d cardiac ischemia, e upper airway obstruction, f congestive heart failure, g vocal cord dysfunction, h parasitic infections, i cough secondary to drugs. J. Eosinophilic pneumonia. Management. Successful management of asthma. 1. Routine monitoring of symptoms and objective measures of lung function. 2. Control of asthma triggers. 3. Pharmacologic therapy. 4. Patient education. Goals of asthma care. Avoid frequent, severe, and troublesome asthma symptoms. Prevent acute exacerbations that require urgent medical intervention. Maintain ability to pursue daily activities including participation in athletics without limitation due to asthma symptoms. Optimize lung function. Optimize pharmacotherapy while minimizing or, avi or avoiding side effects. Provide effective education. Pharmacologic therapy, controller therapy, chronic pharmacotherapy to prevent symptoms of asthma, reliever therapy, short-acting pharmacotherapy used on as needed, PRN basis to treat current asthma symptoms, route of administration, classes of asthma medications, A. Anti-inflammatory agents generally used as controller medications. Reduce airway inflammation and improve lung function. Decrease bronchial hyperreactivity. Decrease symptoms, reduce frequency and severity of asthma exacerbations. Reduce mortality, improve quality of life. Prevent migration and activation of inflammatory cells. Interfere with Production of prostaglandins and leukotherins. Corticosteroids. Mast cell stabilizers. Limited role as controller therapy in adult asthma but have excellent safety profile. May be useful for some adults with mild persistent asthma or exercise induced asthma. Chromoline sodium and nitrochromyl sodium available in inhaled form. Locoterine modifying agents. Leukotriene modifying agents are less effective than ICS as onotropy and less effective than long-acting beta agonists LABA as adontropy for poorly controlled asthma. B. Bronchodilators short-acting LABAS salmeterol formoterol used as asthma controller therapy and to control nocturnal asthma symptoms. LABAS have been associated with increased risk of asthma-related deaths and are not appropriate for monotropy as asthma controller therapy. Toe filling. Immunomodulating agents. Various agents have been investigated for their ability to maintain long-term asthma control or steroid sparing effects. D. Step therapy approach. E. Monitoring. F. Control of triggers. G. 
G. Asthma Action Plans. Nine. Referral to pulmonary specialist. A. Diagnostic uncertainty. B. Difficulty in achieving or maintaining asthma control. C. Need for a step for care. Thank you for your listening.